Hey everyone and welcome back to Haste Kitchen. This is day three of Ramp Week. I'm hoping you're enjoying it so far. This is a real, real simple quick one for you. Hopefully um, I can do an annotation box here which says how to do my chocolate chili con carne. Um, I'll try and put it here. If I can't, I'll put it in the link box below. Um, we're going to be doing a chocolate chili con carne wrap with a fresh guacamole and coriander um, mint yogurt and rice wrap. It is awesome. This is a taste sensation, this one. Um, ingredients are we have got chocolate chili con carne, go and watch another vid on this one. We've got some fresh spinach, we've got some plain yogurt. We've got some avocado, about one and a half. We've got a lime, we've got salt and pepper to taste. We've got a little bit of olive oil. We've got a funny chopped red onion, a finely chopped tomato. Um, we've got some rice here. I usually have quinoa, however, I'm rotating carbs at the moment and training quite a lot, so I'm gonna have a little bit of carbs tonight or today. Um, chili. Now, my chili con carne is fairly spicy, so it's up to you if you want to use this or not. But if you want to make your guacamole a little bit spicy and a bit of kick, put a little Thai red chili in there or whatever chilies you've got. And then we've got a multi seed wrap. First up, let's make the guacamole. Grab yourself a bowl, first of all, one and a half avocado. You can blitz this in a blender if you want to, no real need. If you dice your things, your, your, your ingredients fine enough, you should be absolutely fine. All I'm going to do is lightly chop that through. Don't smash it up too much because you've got a lot of mixing to do with this. You've got your fresh red onion. I'm using about a quarter of a red onion for that one. Into that I'm going to add one whole tomato chopped up fine. I knew there was an ingredient I missed out of this. Coriander. So, finely chop coriander. I've got to do this nice and gently apparently because uh, there's a few comments that said that my cooking is quite aggressive. The reason being is when you work in a restaurant or you work in a pub or a gastro pub, any of those, you've got to get these covers out of the door so quickly. So if people are shouting at you for a chili to get done, you've got to do it fairly quickly. And that's how I cook at home. It's just all part of my nature, I'm afraid. But I can do calm chopping if you want. Nigella style. Coriander, just a little bit of stalk in there as well. Now I like to save a bit of coriander. Every video I do, I always say save a bit and I always get that wrong and end up using it. Um, good pinch, coriander. Mash up your guacamole and then into that I like to add a little bit of zest of lime. So that's the last of your lime in there. You're gonna add a good pinch of your salt and pepper. and a small amount of your olive oil. Now that is done. I'm hoping you're liking the speed of these recipes. I'm trying to keep them a lot quicker and a lot smoother and easier because realistically we haven't got a lot of time on our hands. We're not sitting around thinking to ourselves, what should we do for my lunch the next day? You just want to make it quick and easy. Um, with this sort of things, this will leak a little bit of juice if you like. So. Um, I would probably put it together in the morning before you go to work. Right, guacamole, done. So to plate this up, all I'm going to do is get a piece of paper. I'm just using baking paper for this, because this will be quite a messy one otherwise. Lay your baking paper flat. Legs here. Grab yourself your wrap. Into that, I'm just going to put a small amount of my chili. Like that. That's a horrible sound effect. And I'm going to add a small amount of the rice. Important things with this, if you're using rice, make sure it's cold and don't reheat it. One of the highest bacteria foods you can get if you reheat it. Um, so crucial just to have this one as a cold. And it is just as good, trust me. Right, onto that. We're going to add just a small layer of spinach, not too much because we want to be able to fold this one over and wrap it properly. Then we're going to use a tiny bit of the yogurt and then some of the guacamole, put it over the top. Now this is the bit I'm going to love because when you're eating this at work and you're, you're unwrapping your paper wrap and you've got this beautiful chili con carne burrito style wrap and you've got I don't know, Barry sat next to you with his cheese and pickle sandwich with his packet of waffles. You're going to be going, oh, that looks really nice. That sandwich, Barry, not quite the same as this, though. Fact. Right, so I spin that over. Now, what I like to do is just a little bit of coriander down the middle. And that's it. That was so simple, wasn't it? 
like I always seem to say. Let me know if these are actually simple, because I think they are, and I think you go to work with a lot healthier style lunch than a plain old boring sandwich. Now with this, all I'm going to do is fold it over once, twist the end in, roll it over again, and then using your rack itself, bring it over the top, roll it towards, away from you, keep it rolling, and then twist around like that. That's your lunch. That is gonna be better than anyone's salad that they pull out of their lunch box, which they're miserable about and thinking, oh, I'm so hungry, I wish I had this burrito style wrap. Um, so, cut this one open. And all I'm gonna do is, cut that one open. And there we have it. Chocolate chili wraps with a guacamole and lime with a fresh yogurt and spinach wrap. Day three done. I'll see you tomorrow guys, bye bye.